These books were, unless I'm mistaken, the very first role-playing material I ever owned as a kid. This is the Combat Heroes series by Joe Dever, and as a kid, uh, I was forbidden from playing role-playing games from RPGs. I, I was not allowed to do that. My parents thought that it would literally summon demons were I to play role-playing games, because in their minds, I guess, demons actually exist and can actually be summoned through tabletop board games. So they they wouldn't allow me to play those, but the Combat Hero books, they don't really look like role-playing games. So back in the 80s, back in 1986, I was at a shopping mall in the United States, and if you were in the 80s in the United States and you ever went to a shopping mall, then you would know that every shopping mall back then had a B. Dalton's and a Walden's. They were two different bookstores. They always, for some reason, came in pairs, and I've always been an avid reader, so we would always stop in at the bookstores whenever we were at the mall. I saw this book, The Black Bear, and I thought it looked amazing. It sort of tricked them into buying it for me. I, I guess they missed the big banner across the bottom of the cover, a brand new role-playing game for one to two players, but you know what? It didn't say D&D &D anywhere on it, and it doesn't really look like a role-playing game. It looks just like a picture book of some kind, and so they purchased it for me. I never did really know how to play it. I, I was very, very new to the concept of reading rules and interpreting rules, and so yes, I read the rules for the solo game, but I didn't really understand how to sort of control an analog computer, which is kind of what this is. So in this video, I'm going to play the Scarlet Sorcerer book, the solo playthrough of that. Now, there, every book, all of these books, has a two-player mode as well, so that the books come in pairs. There's the Black Baron versus the White Warlord. Two people can play one with one, one with each book, and you can go through the hallways on a turn-by-turn -turn basis, and when you see your enemy, then you tell the other player that they've they've been spotted, and you, you tell them what page to go to, and then you can get into combat. It's really, really fascinating, but I don't have two people right now. So, Combat Heroes, Scarlet Sorcerer, I don't have the accompanying book for that, which is the Emerald Enchanter, so I might as well play this one as a solo game. All right, so here's the, um, here's the solo sheet, the score sheet. And I'm going to be using a computerized version of that. And as you can see up here, it says starting page 226. Here's the map. I'm going to be referring to that frequently as well. And uh, while the starting page is 226, that's to start the actual game. The, the, the introduction and rules occur here at the front. I'm not going to read it entirely because I think that could be a little bit boring. But I will get uh, some of the lore here. You are the Scarlet Sorcerer of Estelon, star pupil of the most distinguished mage of Thrasia. For thousands of years, this vast continent was shaped by the valiant deeds of warrior kings and sorcerers, but few could claim to equal the achievements of your wise mentor, Silvarian the Great. It was he who discovered the Thrasian crystals of power and unlocked their secret energies to create wondrous flying ships. His magic all but put an end to famine and disease, and his skills of diplomacy brought peace to the warring kingdoms of Estelon and Arnia. He devoted his lifetime to sorcery, and in the winter of his years, he retired to the city of Ludos, where he taught white magic at the Guild Hall Arcania. Rivalry there was intense, but never was it more so than between yourself and two other ambitious students of magic, the Emerald Enchanter of Arnia and a young mage, called Ra Ralagon of Calcor. Ralagon was Silvarian's favorite pupil. Spoiler alert, he turns against Silvarian. So Ralagon turns against Silvarian and sets about unlocking the secrets to create a power crystal of his own. He manages to create the power crystal, but in so doing, he forfeits his life and becomes one of the most powerful of the magical undead, a Death Lord. Overcome by grief and anger at Ralagon's betrayal, Silvarian pledged to destroy his former prize student to safeguard the future of Thrasia. 
he masterminded a plan to steal the Death Lord's power crystal, which Ralagon kept secure in his fortress in the Plain of Nightmares. If deprived of its energy, the Death Lord would gradually fade from the world of the living and vanish forever into oblivion. To execute his daring plan, Silvarian enlists the help of his two best students, yourself and the Emerald Enchanter. Despite the intense rivalry between you, bordering on hatred, you agree to cooperate with one another and to help your master gain access access to the fortress of the death lord in order to steal the power crystal so that's the setup the solo game rules work like this i have 40 days to find the power crystal every time i turn a page one day transpires i track the days on the solo sheet and if i reach 40 game's over there are also special items that i might find and collect on my journey I have an endurance rating of 30, so I'll jot that down. And the solo uh, adventure starts on 226. So, Silvarian, my mentor, has journeyed to the north to confront Silvarian. He manages to get the power crystal out of the plane of nightmares, but two weeks elapse and news from the north grows ever more grim and disquieting. The Death Lord has mustered huge armies of goblins and launched on an invasion on the lands that border his desolate realm. All the talk is of war and the desperate search for the power crystal by Ralagon's minions. Then, quite unexpectedly, you are visited by a messenger. A Calcorian eagle arrives at your dwelling with a parchment bound to its claw. Your heart pounds when you read the tiny scroll, for it is written in Silvarian's hand. Burn the last to get the first. Fly north and you will find a noble knight in stronghold dark is pledged to help our kind. His gift will grant you access to a temple of the blessed. Be sure that you act swiftly lest time defeat your quest. At once you realize that Silvarian must be dead. This message contains clues to the hiding place of the power crystal and he has entrusted you with the task of finding it in honor of his memory and for the glory of defeating the death lord you pledge yourself to the quest all right now we're we're starting so first of all page 226 okay so 226 we're starting we're starting at at uh i'm going to refer back to the map here we're starting here at ground at crown guard now, the poem that we received from Silvarian said, Burn the last to get the first. Travel north and you will find a noble knight and stronghold. So is there a stronghold to the north? Well, there's a fortress of the Death Lord <laughs> to the northeast, but it doesn't say travel north. Uh, Ludos is the city where uh, Silvarian is from, but again, that's northeast. So is there something north? Limnos could, looks like it could be a fortress. Ash would burn the, what is it? Burn the last to get the first? That would be burning, yeah, burn the last to get the first. Well, you burn wood to get ash. So I wonder if that's a somewhat obvious clue. But again, that's not north. I mean, it is north, but looking at it from you know from here i mean it, it looks to me like it's northeast so i kind of just want to go north but then again maybe maybe a little bit north and a little bit east would work i don't really know how the directions are going to work on this so here we are at, at 226 and like i say that's that's crown guard and we do have two locations on the map which we can explore so i could go to x19 or x24 those are basically the um, appendices so 19 and 24. 24 looks like a temple to me. And there was that bit in the in the poem. Oh, no, it says, okay, a noble knight and a stronghold. Oh, yeah, no, to a temple of the blessed. I mean, that, that seems really close to be the temple of the blessed. But you never know. Let's, let's check it out. So it's X24. The druids of this temple, yep, it was a temple, advise you to go to the Dragon Mist Marshes and seek out the altar of the Silver Dragon. Wow, okay. Uh, to continue, turn back to 226. Okay, so that seems like a clue. Um, and so that's what, the Dragon Mist Marshes and seek out the altar of the Silver Dragon. Well, that's not what Silvarian told us to do. Um, that's, in fact, 
the opposite direction. <laughs> That's south, southeast. Silverian specifically told us to go north. I don't know who these druids are or why they're telling us to go south. I mean, are they just generally advising us to go south? I don't know. Okay, let's let's look around here in the city. Uh, you are in Crown Guard, the city of your birth. Every time you return to this city, you may restore three endurance points. Okay, that's good. For every day that you stay. Mm. Well, days is what I don't have. To continue, to continue your quest, yeah, okay. All right, so those are the two locations on the map. Uh, so so far, no days have elapsed. We're just we're just sitting around. We haven't we haven't changed location. We haven't traveled yet. And it's really just a question between it's it's a it's a choice between going north like Silverian said or south like the Druids have said. Just for kicks, <laughs> let's follow the Druids. I don't know who these guys are. Don't know, but let's try it. All right. So looking down at the navigational panel here, we've got south. 146. I could go to page 146 to go south, or I could go a little bit southeast to 134. Now, to me, southeast looks like the correct direction, so that's what I think I'm going to do. 134. And, of course, that means a day has passed, so I'll mark one day as an elapsed time. Uh, and then here we are. New map. Okay. This is exciting. We've got, again, sort of a... looks like a little city. And then this shining, gleaming... I want to say that's a palace or something. It doesn't look like a temple to me. But then again, I mean, it is a temple of a silver dragon. So maybe that's... maybe it's a very fancy temple. I guess we can't know without just going up and knocking on the door. So let's land our ship and go over to X-52. This is the site of a holy shrine where wise men from all over Estelon come to pray for guidance. If you wish to stop and pray, turn to 106. Yeah, absolutely, I'm going to stop and pray. Let's go to 106. The image of a dagger and an oak tree forms slowly in your mind's eye as you complete your prayers. A dagger and an oak tree. I'm pretty sure there is a location on this map called Dagger Oak. Am I making that up? Sure, there was a dagger oak. I must have made that up. Oh, dagger wood. Way, way, way to the east. And and it's it's uh, worth noting, of course, that I have not yet found the Temple of the Silver Dragon. So maybe I should investigate still a little bit more. Uh, X-14, that's a city. I'm kind of afraid of doing this, but let's try it. The town of Silverfield is the home of Eli Eliona the illusionist, a friend and fellow magician. He, she, he, is a he? He. I, I gotta say that's a she. Iliona, that's a girl's name. She insists you stay at her home for refreshment and conversation. You lose one day. Hmm. Okay. That's not great. I was hoping she would help me. But instead we just had tea. All right. So, um, unfortunately I don't exactly know where I am on the map. Like I don't have a way marker. You know, I don't know where I am. I'm going to assume that I didn't get to Dragon Mist Marshes yet. And I'm going to continue... No, I'm not. I was going to continue southeast, but apparently I'm not. There is no southeast option. How about if I just go east, 126? I feel like I'm already off track. <laughs> like, I've already ignored my mentor's advice. Okay, where are we here? 126. Uh, new map. Got a big old city again, and it looks like some random grass fields or maybe wheat fields. Let's go to the city, because it feels like there will be people there to talk to. Might lose another day. Oh yeah, and obviously I have indeed lost another day because I turned the page. So three days has elapsed now, uh, and I'm going, where am I going? 60, X 60. The sages of the city of Corn are famous for their wisdom and boundless knowledge. Restore two endurance points for every day you stay in the city. Okay, so that's good to know. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a star by this this location so that I remember that it, it does have health benefits. Uh, do I want to seek an audience with the sages? Yes, I do. I'm probably going to lose another day. Oh my goodness, three days pass before you are invited before the council. Well, I wouldn't have waited three days. Uh, they listen to your request for help and advise you to journey to the altar of the silver dragon in the south. I'm trying. I can't go south from here. I don't understand what's going on here. Okay, so one, two... Three days lost, and they're telling me to go south. Um, there's no way to go south from here. But 
at least I know where I am. I'm in corn, which on the map is here. Uh, so I guess I could try to go... Well, do you suppose the silver dragon could be in these fields? Those are the marshes. Oh, those are the marshes. Okay, well, let's go to X32. I, again, I don't have a great feeling about this, but let's try it. On a rocky slope rising out of the dragon mist marshes stands the altar of the silver dragon. Legend says that he who places a treasure upon the altar will have his wish granted. Wow, um, that's kind of huge. So, um, hmm... I don't have treasure. If you wish to place a special item on the altar, turn to X113. Well, I don't. If you don't have a special item, then just keep playing. Okay, wow. A wish granted? Really? I mean, I would love to just wish for the power crystal. All right, well, let's let's go north now and hope that we run into a special item. So from 126, north is 116. And it takes a day, of course, to get to 116, so I'll mark that off. And it looks to me like there are lots of locations here. Really, I just want any special item. That's all I need is a special item. Could I look around for, you know, a gold coin that someone's dropped? I'm trying to... Okay, let's look at the big map and see if we estimate where we might be. So if I was just in corn, I'm... Okay, so these might be the Black Peak Mountains. Yeah, those are probably the Black Peak Mountains. I'm, the, the Black Peak Mountains are kind of calling to me, so I'm going to go to 97. I'm probably going to run into some bandits or the goblins, but maybe I can fight them and get something for my trouble. Uh, your skyship is engulfed by a fierce electrical storm as you fly across the Black Peak Mountains, and you are forced to make an emergency landing. You lose three days repairing the damaged craft. Ugh. That's not great. One, two, three. So I am ten days into this journey. Uh, but I, I mean, I have a wish. I have a pending wish, basically. So seventeen. Let's let's look at seventeen. It looks like a like maybe a cave or something. It's kind of hard to tell, but it looks to me like it might be a cave, like a hermit's cave. Okay, it's a monastery. Maybe it's the Kai Monastery. Who knows? You stop and search the ruins of a derelict monastery and are bitten by a poisonous snake lose five endurance if your endurance score is below 20 i have to rest okay well i don't think it is that no so i've now have 25 endurance and that's what i found at 17 i guess i'm just a glutton for punishment i'm gonna go to 75 i'm gonna either waste a day or waste in endurance the town of Black River is plagued by a swarm of locusts. You use your magic to rid the villagers of these pests, and in return they promise to help you. They tell you that Silvarian was born in the city of Xersis, and that his brother lives there still. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, Xersis. And he's got a brother. He's gonna be an evil twin or something? Um, where's Xersis? Is that not to the east? I don't see Xersis on this map. Am I missing it? I don't know. I'm not seeing it right now. No, there it is. Xersis. Okay, so again, way over to the east. And again, Daggerwood was something that I got guidance from for the temple. I'm kind of feeling like I'm being called eastward. Even though there's this wish temple just to the south, I have nothing to sacrifice to it. So I'm going to go uh, from Black Peak Mountains. I'm going to start going east and try to swing up to Xersis. I don't know if this is a good idea, but let's try it. So east from here is page 75. So this spends another day. 75. Okay. Oh, there's a temple. I can't stop at every temple. Can I? I could. I could. All right, I'm going to stop by the temple. I don't know why. I feel like I'm just going to waste time. You stop to investigate a hilltop shrine and encounter a gang of bandits. I knew it. They try to rob you, and in the ensuing fight, you lose one special item. Well, I don't have any. And three endurance points. Okay. I, I would, at this point, I would rather lose endurance. So I'm down to 22 now. Than time. Because endurance I can get back. Time is a very limited resource. In real life and in pretend life. Okay, I'm going to keep going east then to page 6-7, which of course eats up another day. And here's another mountain just calling out to me. 
Uh, I'm going to investigate. I know it's asking for trouble, but honestly, I figure if you don't, if you don't, if you don't investigate, then why are you playing the game? Uh, X-74. Storms in the mountains. Damage your skyship. Lose two days while you make repair. Okay, so two more days. Wow. Uh, mountains are not, are not my friend. That is what I'm learning here. Okay, so now east again, I feel like, yeah, 205. 205. Okay. Again, looks like some sort of some mountains of which I'm going to avoid. So X13, no, not doing that. X86 and 76, though, those are enticing. Those are interesting to me. And also, I just, I feel like I kind of need to, like right now on the map, I don't know where I am. I have no clue. Um, I mean, I know I'm, I'm east. I'm, I'm kind of guessing that I might be in gray marsh just because these shapes here they kind of feel like gray marsh to me and you can kind of make out the river and the mountains uh so i i think i might be in gray marsh but i don't know and i kind of want to find out because at some point i want to swing up to xersis i don't want to overshoot and and miss that so oh i didn't I, I turned the page so i'm down another day aren't i so 5 10 15 okay 15 days so i've got a good 25 more days to go and and i I, I'm not sure that I really understand where I, f I, f I feel like I'm no longer looking for the power crystal, which is a weird strategy. And I'm just looking for some treasure that I can sacrifice to the silver dragon so that it grants me my wish. Is that the correct strategy? Probably not. It's certainly not Silverian's intended strategy, but it might be a parallel strategy. So that's what I'm going with right now. So I will pick this up next time. Thanks for watching.